Welcome to the I-10 Managed Lanes Project Public Meeting. We appreciate your interest and involvement in this project. The brief presentation will provide a basic overview of the project and let you know where to go for more information. Your input is critical to the project development process and we look forward to hearing from you. The purpose of our public meeting is to provide you with information on the proposed I-10 Managed Lanes Project, which would add capacity from I-10 from FM 3351 or Ralph Fair Road to Loop 1604. This will be accomplished as follows. We will start by discussing how this project is tied to the $825 million plan. We will then explain the concepts as well as the benefits of utilizing managed lanes. Next, we'll provide you with various project specific details including a summary of the environmental review process, a project development timeline, a proposed 3D video rendering, and multiple project schematics and exhibits in the next room. And finally, we will provide you with the anticipated next steps for this project and let you know of the many ways you can submit comments. On April 28, 2014, the Policy Board of the Alamo Area Metropolitan Planning Organization, or MPO, unanimously approved amendments to the region's short and long-term range plans to accommodate the $825 million plan. The $825 million plan represents a strategic partnership among the listed entities to implement multiple projects within the three corridors in San Antonio. This plan, which took years to develop, required a close working relationship between each agency and extensive public involvement. The plan will ultimately allow for the implementation of critical improvements within the next two to five years otherwise the process could take much longer. This plan is separate from other improvement projects currently planned or underway in Northwest Bear County and it also falls in line with the overall major thoroughfare plan for this region. The $825 million plan provides for the funding of multiple projects on the three corridors shown on this map which includes Interstate Highway 10 for an estimated $180 million, U.S. Highway 281 for an estimated $458 million, and Loop 1604 at an estimated $187 million. Although the begin and end limits for the proposed I-10 managed lanes project are from FM 3351 to Loop 1604, the project was divided into two separate segments to be planned and environmentally studied independently. The first segment, which is what we will be discussing today, encompasses I-10 from FM 3351 to La Cantera Parkway and is shown in red on this map. The second segment, which will include direct connector bridges to and from Loop 1604, encompasses I-10 from La Cantera Parkway to the proposed Loop 1604 tie-in points and is shown in green on this map. The I-10 corridor we are discussing today has experienced a rapid rate of growth and development between Bernie and San Antonio. The corridor was recently recognized by the Periodical Property Management Insider as the seventh busiest submarket in the entire United States in 2014. As shown on this map, the region has experienced a significant amount of growth due to numerous residential, commercial, and mixed-use developments in the immediate vicinity. What is not shown on this map, but what is also contributing to the corridor expansion needs, is the increased population growth rate in Kendall and Kerr counties. This rapid rate of growth and development within the region has resulted in a significant increase in traffic along the I-10 corridor. In 2009, TxDOT collected traffic data that revealed 91,500 vehicles per day utilizing this portion of I-10. TxDOT projections indicate that this traffic volume is anticipated to nearly double by the year 2029. As shown in this table, recent traffic data collected in 2014 substantiates this projection and verifies the issue at hand, which is increased demand along the I-10 corridor. When increased demand is combined with limited capacity, as in the case of the I-10 corridor, the result typically leads to traffic congestion. There are three possible solutions to mitigating traffic congestion. The first would be increasing capacity, which typically involves constructing additional travel lanes along the corridor. Second would be reducing demand, which entails encouraging the traveling public to utilize band pools 
mass transit, or other alternative modes of transportation. And third would be controlling access or limiting the number of vehicles utilizing the interstate system. The benefit of implementing managed lanes is that they will incorporate various aspects of all three potential solutions into one overall system. The managed lane approach also will allow the movement of people in the most efficient manner by creating a reliable transportation corridor now and for many years to come. Managed lanes operate separately from the general purpose main lanes and incorporate a combination of pricing strategies, vehicle eligibility, and access control. They are continuously managed by time of day in response to changing conditions to maintain faster, more reliable speeds. The Alamo RMA will be responsible for maintaining and operating the proposed managed lanes along this corridor. As of today, the current Alamo RMA toll policy states that all mass transit, military, emergency responders, and registered van poolers can utilize the managed lanes at any time free of charge. All other vehicles that do not fall within these categories will pay a specified toll rate as determined by the Alamo RMA. The established benefits of utilizing a managed lane system are as follows. The provided increase in capacity reduces the traffic congestion throughout the corridor. General ridership and the utilization of mass transit services will increase as motorists will now have an incentive to changing traveling habits. The enhanced corridor-wide level of service will result in moving more people to their destination. With reduced traffic congestion along the corridor, traffic safety will be enhanced. The managed lanes will provide a continuously available and reliable alternative for the general traveling public at all times. And finally, the managed lane system creates a long-term, self-sustainable mobility alternative for years to come. Every project has a no-build scenario. In this particular case, the no-build scenario for the I-10 corridor will be to keep the existing two main lanes in each direction in place as shown in this graphic. Considering the anticipated traffic projections detailed earlier, this scenario will undoubtedly result in high levels of traffic congestion. By implementing the managed lane system, there will be a reduction in the general purpose lane utilization, an increase in general ridership, and additional alternative modes of transportation available to the public. This build scenario will ultimately reduce traffic congestion, provide a reliable alternative for motorists, and overall move more people through the I-10 corridor. As you can see, this will not be the first application of the managed lanes concept on a highway system. As of 2015, managed lanes have been implemented and are currently in operation in more than 30 locations throughout the United States. The benefit of this fact is that the Alamo RMA can utilize the lessons learned on previous applications to implement a more efficient and successful system from the start. Currently, the Alamo Area MPO is studying the application or expansion of a managed lane system on seven separate locations as shown on this map. The systems include I-10 West and East, I-35 Northeast, US-281 North, Loop 1604 North, State Highway 151 West, and I-37 South. The existing I-10 corridor consists of two main lanes in each direction with frontage roads as shown in this typical section. The proposed I-10 corridor will consist of two additional managed lanes in each direction while maintaining the existing main lanes now referred to as general purpose lanes and frontage roads in place as shown in this typical section. As you can see, the proposed managed lanes will be located in the center median between the existing main lanes and will be separated by a proposed concrete traffic barrier. Also, the managed lanes and general purpose lanes will be separated by a buffer area that will include plastic pylons. While this graphic shows a typical section of the proposed corridor, it should be noted that the managed lanes will have entry and exit access points in each direction in the vicinity of Dominion Drive. 
Three key points of this project are, number one, the managed lanes will be added to the I-10 corridor and will increase overall capacity. Number two, the number of existing general purpose lanes will remain the same and will not be told. And number three, the use of the managed lanes will be a choice of each individual. It has been determined that an environmental assessment, or EA, is the appropriate environmental study to be conducted for this project. The project will need to adhere to all TCEQ rules and regulations as it is located over the Edwards Aquifer contributing and recharge zones. Impact studies for air quality, traffic noise, endangered species, and other standard analyses included within an EA are also currently underway. It should be noted that no right-of-way acquisition is anticipated in order to accommodate the proposed managed lanes. This figure represents the chronological development of the I-10 managed lanes project. As you can see, the initial planning began in the winter of 2009. The previously discussed $825 million plan was approved in the spring of 2014. TxDOT began the schematic and environmental document preparation in the fall of 2014. A project stakeholder meeting was held in March of 2015 and of course you are currently attending the public meeting today. Moving forward, the project schematic an environmental assessment will be finalized, a public hearing will be provided, and if environmentally cleared and approved, the project will be considered for alternative construction delivery methods in 2016. Based on this schedule, construction could begin in 2017. The construction, which will include the I-10 and Loop 1604 direct connector bridges, will take approximately three years to complete. As previously mentioned, the current planning level estimate is $180 million, which is included within the $825 million plan. Also, the direct connector bridges at Loop 1604 are currently being planned for and environmentally assessed as part of a separate project. In conclusion, we will now present a proposed 3D video rendering of the I-10 managed lanes project. If you have any questions about the 3D video rendering, please be sure to take notes and we will be glad to clarify any information with you in the adjacent room. Please note that the 3D video rendering begins near FM 3351 and terminates at La Candera Parkway. On behalf of the I-10 Manage Lanes Project Team, we greatly appreciate your attendance and participation and we look forward to receiving your comments and feedback soon. Thank you.